The DVX200 has two memory card slots for recording on to, and there are a number of ways you can use those, but the way we're going to talk about in this video is the dual codec recording function. Now with this, you can be recording the same footage, the same basic action on both memory card slots, but in two different formats. You could record, for example, in ultra high definition on one card slot, and on the other card slot, you could be recording a downconverted 1080p version. In fact, it could be as low as eight megabits, so basically almost a proxy file on the second card. So. Why would you use this? How would you use this? I'll give you a couple examples. Let's say you are doing an environmental documentary and you're shooting in ultra high definition 24p and you're planning on making your, uh, you know, Sundance Film Festival debut with this and you stumble across something that the world has to see right now. Well, if you'd been recording a proxy version, you would have an eight megabit version also that you could drive to an internet cafe and upload that footage instantly. You don't have to go into post and work with this ultra high definition or almost 4K footage at 100 megabits. You could be working with, you know, 1080p files at eight megabits and get those up right away. Another example would be if you're a wedding shooter and the couple has asked for a same day edit. Well, they may want a ultra high definition version for, uh, you know, if they're master of the whole wedding, but it's a little bit tough to do an immediate turnaround on ultra high definition footage. That's not the easiest thing in the world to edit right now. So if you had made a proxy file at eight megabits, you might be able to whip that out right away in between, you know, the wedding and, and the actual reception and be able to give them that same day edit and then substitute. You don't have to re-edit. You just substitute the ultra high definition footage for the proxy files. And then you have your ultra high definition master to configure the camera to do dual codec recording. First thing you got to do, load it up with two memory cards. <laughs> Obviously it needs two memory cards in order to record, but it also needs it in there before you can even set the menu items properly. So make sure you got both memory card slots full with cards. Second thing, go into the system mode menu and let's choose our main recording format. First of all, you have to decide that you want either MOV or MP4. Cannot use AVC HD. Then choose a rec format. And again, there are a few restrictions, but basically you cannot use 4K or UHD 60P or 50p if you have your camera set in 50 hertz mode, you have to use UHD at 24, 25, or 30p. Or if you want a high def master, you can choose any of them so long as it's not 50 megabit. It has to be 100 or 200 megabits. So once you've set your main recording format, go into the recording setup menu, and you'll see there the second item is two slots function. We're gonna set that to dual codec. And the last step that we do, dual codec rec, you choose 50 megabits or eight megabits. Now the choice of your main recording format is going to directly influence what the dual codec recording format is. For example, the frame rate will stay the same. If you chose UHD 24P, then your dual codec recording will be FHD at 24P. If you chose a main recording of FHD 60P, then your dual codec recording will be FHD at 60P. So that's gonna stay the same. Your dual codec recording is always going to be FHD. So whether you've chosen UHD or FHD for your main recording, your dual codec will always be FHD. One question comes up is the file format. You can choose MOV or MP4 for your main codec. And generally, if your dual codec is at 50 megabits, that will stay the same. So if you've chosen UHD at 24p in MP4, then your dual codec recording will be FHD 24p in mp4 but one thing is that if you have chosen a dual codec of 8 megabits or if the system has forced dual codec 8 megabit on you because your main recording is fhd the dual codec 8 megabit codec only stores its files in an mov format so you could end up with case of your main codec is in mp4 and your dual codec is in mov the FHD 8 megabits will always be in MOV format. So once you've recorded your dual codecs, how do you play back the footage? How do you even know that it's there? And this is a slightly challenging thing. You gotta understand the way the camera's playback system works. So the first thing we do, we'll go to the thumbnails. And here you have to specify the playback format of the file that you want to look at. 
remember the camera can record in UHD or FHD, it can MOV, MP4, you have to specify all that. It won't just show you all the files that are on the memory card. It'll only show you the files that are in the format that you specify. And because your dual codec recording may be in a different file format or a different resolution than your main codec recording, then you're going to have to specify where to find that or what type of file that is. So for purposes of this example, I'm going to specify that we're going to have a main codec of UHD 24P in an MP4 wrapper, and our dual codec is going to be FHD 8 megabits on card 2 in an MOV wrapper. So we'll go and look at the main codec first. We set our format to UHD 24P and our file format to MP4, and here's the file, and we can play it back. Now we go to card slot 2, and there's no clips because there are no UHD clips in there. Remember, we have to change that format. So we're going to change to FHD 24P. And now we also have to remember to change to MOV format from MP4. And now our file shows up. And it even has on the icon, it tells you exactly that it is a dual codec recording. When you're working with these files in post, the files are recorded with the exact same file number which is very handy because then you know exactly what file goes with which. But how do you know which is the main codec and which is the dual codec? Well, the folder names are gonna be different. The folder names that the files are stored in are gonna have that last letter is gonna be a P for the primary recording, and it will also be a D or an E. D is a dual codec recording in 50 megabits, and E represents a dual codec recording in eight megabits. Now, with the files being the same name, that's great. I mean, you, you, when you're doing a proxy edit, you can use the dual codec recordings, and then when you go to substitute the files in for your master edit, you can just replace them by number. That's fine. There is one gotcha I want to advise you of. The folder names might not be the same on the two cards. The folders are always incrementally recorded, so the first three digits are always the number of the folder. Those may not be the same. You can force them to be the same, however, before you start a dual codec project. First thing you do, format both memory cards. Start with two blank, fresh memory cards. Then go into the menus and choose the Other Functions menu and look for the Number Reset command and press that. You want to reset the number. So that way, both memory cards will start out with their folders as exactly the same number. And then the files that are stored within those folders will have the exact same number. So you'll always know exactly which dual codec recording goes with which main codec recording. I hope this has helped explain and clear up this whole dual codec thing so that you can now use this powerful function in your own productions. Be sure to see the other videos in this series for even more tips and tricks and help on how to use your DVX200. Thanks for watching. Panasonic.